Welcome Sports Life and Hip Hop took a little break, man. We back. Once again, you know the routine. Zeke, Ricky Shwee, Channel 7. Let's get into it, man. What y'all got going, man? It's been a minute, man. Corona, corona free virus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, corona free zone here, man. Stock up on your water. All fist bumps. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might, I might actually like, like incorporate the the Japanese. Uh, might do the bow. <laughs> <laughs> even though they the ones that started this. Well, not Japanese, but China. Even though they the ones that kicked the shit off. Do y'all want to talk about that? Yeah. Like, are y'all afraid of that? Nah. <laughs> what do you mean? As far as like, are do you think it's um, uh, a rational fear to have? Cause I went in Costco today, like shelves was. That empty picture you for said real. that was an actual. That was for real, yeah. That's crazy. Man, that's crazy. They, they put a limit on uh, <clears throat> wipes, rice, sugar, water. Like you can only get five, and they was Seriously? gone. All all the water was gone. Right here on north. No, I went to the one in uh, Oak Brook. What about the wipes? They were gone. To they was gone too. No, hand sanitizer, yeah. all that gone. Hell no. Mm. Stay at Soap Left. <laughs> nah. I was in there with my dad, he's like, I'm gonna see if they got some hand sanitizer over here. And the manager was walking back, he's like, no, we don't. <laughs> she's like, yeah, it's all Already, good. Huh? Yeah, like people, they said people was lined up at the door when they open. For wipes. And Damn. Yes. Water. Because they think they ain't gonna be able to leave the house, so they gotta stock up on shit. Yeah, I actually saw a, a report on, um, it was like Good Morning America, they were saying like, it actually works in our favor. It's like, um, like uh, a lot of people aren't going anywhere, so like uh, uh, um, creators, like YouTube uh, uh, creators, mm. Netflix, mm. all that shit's going up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whereas, um, like uh, what you call it, Netflix, Facebook, uh, they all pulled out of like South by Southwest Fest coming up. So you gonna tell them to subscribe? At yes. Hey. <clears throat> You don't want to get sick anyway. You stand in the crib. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe to Sports Life and Health. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. Yeah. I'm not afraid of this. Nah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm didn't, we go, didn't, didn't we go through SARS? Right, right. right SARS. Uh, uh, what was the... Um, Ebola. What was the uh, joint they put in the envelope? Uh, oh, anthrax. Anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not paranoid about it, you know what I'm saying? It, it strikes me as like, until, I mean, I know the facts ain't all out about the the whole virus, but it strikes me as like having the flu, the people that die, yeah. compromise health and like elderly, you know what I'm saying? They had a, a case at uh, University of Chicago uh, last night or maybe a couple of days ago, but he uh, showed negative, so he good. Mm. They thought he had it, they, they thought he had it, but turns out he didn't, so, but, uh, there was the guy in Washington. He passed from it though. He perished in Washington. Yeah, it was no. See, uh, it was Seattle. That's why C.J. McCollum oh, said he not yeah, doing yeah. Uh, signatures. Mm -hmm. Oh, NBA. They remember yeah. they put the memo out. No, they want people to stop uh, signing, shaking, shaking hands, mm -hmm. and all that. You know what I'm saying? But oh, it was a case in Arlington Heights. Mm -hmm. They shut the schools. And the shit starting to get closer. <laughs> shit moving in, man. I went up. I went up to. Uh, Without saying anything about the job, uh, I went went to get some Starbucks, and I heard someone hacking. <laughs> Immediately turned around, came right back. That I'm yeah, out a lot of there. people, a lot of people on uh, Twitter been saying, like, "Man, I sneezed on the plane." Everybody turned around, and looked at me like, I'm "Like, damn." Yeah, man. It's I was sad. coughing on the bus. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. Sensitive <laughs> times, man. Sensitive yeah, times. times. I heard they, like a lot of uh, a lot of Asians are uh, like getting like. Like a lot of um, uh, Asian, like uh, hate, hate, hate crimes are like going up. Wow, wow. all that shit. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's something that uh, I don't need to stock up on. Stock up on goods and stay in the house. I don't think it's that serious. We're gonna catch it. That's why I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 to me, it's a flu. You know, you're gonna, you, we're gonna catch it the way, the way. It comes across to me as like, all right, we're gonna catch it. We got. So you think there's no way to avoid it? Nah, it's the flu. It's a it's a new strand of the flu. Like I've never had the. We're flu. gonna get sick. You've had the. You've never had the flu. No, flu is some different shit. You like know, your whole body here, I never had. You never had cold shakes and you just like no. achy. 
You definitely never dropped 45 in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's also true. <laughs> no, nah, I've, I've never had the flu. We don't know if Mike had the flu. Either. Mike had the flu. Man. You heard it, was, it could have been something else. Nah, you saw him on the side. He was drinking. Some nah, say it was food poisoning. Oh yeah, poison. food poisoning. Some say it was hungover. When he when he was slumped over with over Pippen, that looked real. Dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was something wrong. <laughs> it was something you don't wrong. know what it was. When he did that, when he did the put back dunk, and he just like <laughs> yeah, he just his hands just he's listlessly. <laughs> yeah, that that's, yeah. that don't look like he was straight. It was no, like something. No, wrong. it was something wrong. We just don't know what it was. Maybe on the uh, documentary this summer, they. they like, mm. That's the last season, right? No, it was the last three seasons. Oh, I was going over the last three. Oh. Yeah, the last three uh, championships. So, you know, but we'll see. I mean, well, that documentary they was uh, promoting it for like a year, right? Yeah, it's been done. They've been at that footage. Yeah, I can't wait for They it. just had to. I think they had to get his approval to like finally come out with it. Though. Who, Mike? Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. They've been at that footage though. You a Bucks fan now? Yeah, I don't like the Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't support the Eastern Conference. Man. I thought you was a Bulls fan. Right? I am. I'm a basketball fan. But you rock. You rocking the Bucks hard. You, you <laughs> rapping hard right now, yo. I just got a Bucks shirt. Man. Yeah, you got the shooting jersey and the whole nine right now, yo. I can't wear uh, this was on top of my drawer, man. Bring wow, the sleeves back. Wow. Bring the bring, hey, bring them fucking sleeves back, man. Nah, don't sleeve what? The, the sleeves when they was hooping with the nah, sleeves. Nah, nah, I love them joints, you know, man. Horrible, yo. Oh, you see, they never brought them back. Zeke, don't you ever complain with the NBA? <clears throat> Color uh, uh, teams coordinating jersey wise. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of the. Um, the home team is wearing <laughs> dark colors. They switched that. It used to be the home team was in white. Right. Away was in dark. Now they got it all messed up. I don't. I don't like that. So they changed that back. Right. Yeah, like the Bulls, they wear all. They wear red at all home games. Right. Yeah, I don't like that. You need to wear the white jerseys at home. Mm-hmm. That really annoys me. Because then sometimes it, I be getting the teams confused sometimes. Because the team wearing the dark color, man, where 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 are they playing? Like, who's on? Right. right yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Mm, they need to change that back. They probably won't, but breaking tradition. Mm-hmm. But they trying to do sales. They trying to make sales on jerseys. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a specific amount of times you gotta rock a jersey. So that's why. Mm. Oh, that's why like they gotta wear this and that. You know what I'm saying? This particular jersey, this many times, and pretty much, and so forth and so forth. So and it's still whack. No, it is, it's kind of confusing. Like you, you know, you'll watch a um, Bulls and Dallas game. You'll see the Bulls in red, and then Dallas will wear they blue. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like yo, man. or Dallas will wear white. You know, and that's kind of that's kind of confusing, I guess. But Not a fan. <laughs> you're a fan of tradition, like home team wears white. I get it. Right. But you yeah. watch you watch the Zion joint, Zion and uh, LeBron the other day. Can, what do you think of Yo, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 you. No, go ahead. I was just, can Zion catch up with Ja? I don't, I don't think so. For a rookie idea? Only if they take that spot. If they if they if they catch up for him for that eighth spot. Dude, he averaging 20, 23 nuts. nuts. Yeah, he no. averaging 23 and 7. But no. Ja done put in too much work. It's no, a shame. Exactly. It's a shame, you know what I'm saying? But Even if Ja don't make the playoffs. He better be happy. He better be lucky Zion got hurt because of, man. Yeah. If Zion didn't get hurt, yeah, he probably definitely would have got it. But the efficiency in which he, you he know, played like, enough games. Right, he just that second jump is crazy, dude. Yeah, that, cool. that second jump is one of the best I've seen. And he finishes. You it's know probably the best. It's probably the best. Yeah, like he ain't even really in shape shape yet. So now that we, <laughs> so now that we got a, like a um, small serving size. Well, now remember before when he was in college, we were comparing him to. Kemp yeah. Barkley. We didn't know what position you. Where you going play. now? Now that we've seen a, you know, what I'm saying a serving size of him. Well, like, he's Barkley. I see mm-hmm. Barkley. He's yeah. uh, he's Barkley esque. I haven't seen the coast to coast Barkley. yet, but he can do it. He can do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. His jumper need work. Yeah. His jumper trash. I don't like where he's flat footed. Yeah. Set yeah. Shot. He releases it low. He don't yeah. really jump. Mm-hmm. But uh, 
I mean, he the strongest dude out there. He, yeah, he, he be bully, he bullying through people, man. Yeah, he moved to white like he wasn't down. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a 19-year-old, dude. <laughs> he 19 years old doing that. His, his go-to move now is that, that jump step, and he throw that shoulder into you, knock Ooh. you out the way. And he, you can't, he up in the air at that point. Yeah, you can't do nothing about that. And you're so quick, that little jab, like, I saw yeah. had somebody else <laughs> spin it. He didn't even go mm-hmm. nowhere. He just jabbed so quick. I found it interesting that LeBron never spoke to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah. Like, he never talked to him. He never chopped it up. Like, the, like Until after that. Yeah, Sunday he talked to him. But I'm saying the game, what was that, last Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Like, he never spoke to him. Like, they didn't even dap each other up. Mm-hmm. But see, this is my thing with that. Like, cause I, when I saw the game, I heard... um. Who was doing the game? Uh, whoever was doing the TNT. game. TNT. What, TNT. Sunday? Sunday, yeah. ESPN. They said that, but I clearly, now nah, I don't know if they meant like having a whole conversation or not, but I clearly remember when Brian came to the Duke game, they gave the shake. You know what I'm saying? They, they oh, yeah, gave the, yeah, the, the embrace. They shake, they embrace. They, they embrace. Now I don't know if that's what he counts as talking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, they, I, but, I think like, it was a, yeah, I think like when they say talk, like, he never really spoke to him. They probably embraced, probably right. oh, whatever. I, mean, I know, yeah. Him, but never really talked. Like LeBron actually talked to him after the game on Sunday. Yeah, he really chopped it up. <clears> he <throat> did the whole secret. Hand over the mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I don't want, right. I don't want uh, cameras to pick up what I'm saying. Even though I'm not saying anything worthwhile. <laughs> right, right. He right. probably was. Keep it up. Yeah. Yo, 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 man. <laughs> oh, balls, <laughs> yo, balls, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yo, man. AD might be gone in two years. Hit me up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, but but the league uh, but the league is looking good though. You know you got Trey Young, Luca, mm-hmm. you got Zion, Ja. Yeah. Future um, looking good. The future looking mad good. Um, Kobe White. You got uh, Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you? <laughs> why you like Kobe decent? I don't. Know, Kobe has been boring. <laughs> part part two. Huh? Uh, he, Kobe, he's been Gordon. Part what's wrong? Two. What's wrong with Ben Gordon? Ben Gordon had a hell of a run. Yeah, he did. He did. He was a top player. Though. I should rock my Ben Gordon jersey next next episode. Yo, shout out to Ben Gordon for doing that uh, player tribute. That was, yeah, that was real dope, yo. Like, mm-hmm. like, man, that was that was real courageous for him to come out with. Uh, what he was going through. Did you speak on the mental health thing? Or yeah, no, nah, he, re- he really was going through it. Yeah, like, he went through it. You know how like, everyone been talking about it and it almost sounds like it's getting cliche, but yeah. he really was going through it, yo. This nigga robbing niggas. He, yeah, I know he was going he's through robbing it. He's robbing people? Didn't he, rob a, didn't he rob somebody? Nah. Ben he, Gordon. I don't think so. It was nah. the big case. It was the big thing about it. Like, he robbed somebody. Nah. He was That's seeing, when it first came out that he was like, something was going on. No, he was seeing demons. That. That mob was seeing, he wanted to kill himself every day. Yeah. Like, like he was he was going through it, yo. Like, he 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 was seeing some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That, that's real courageous, you know what I'm saying, for him to speak on. Get therapy? I, yeah, he went to Yeah, he's about to go now. I don't think no, he no, he said he said oh, he so went. He on his own. Oh, he, said, he said he went, yeah. I'm about to say, if he came out on his own and was able to, that's really No, really he said he went. He said he was going there. That helped. But he oh, said, okay. man, before, he said, nah, like, I ain't going. But, like, he's gone to therapy. But, like, dude went to, like, you know, off himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, During, right. While he was playing in the league. So, he said what, you know what I'm saying, people don't realize that. What was the quote? Uh, in the NBA... Being obsessed is okay, but outside and you know in the real world, being obsessed. Yeah, is, you know what I'm saying. Like when you obsessed with basketball, like that's it's okay. good. That's good. Like it's <laughs> okay to do this. Right. It's yeah. okay to do the Ray Allen, keep shooting threes until you fire. You know, mm-hmm. doing the same routine, you know, over and over. But in real life, once basketball is over, that shit is weird or not healthy. Right. Hey man, yeah, man, this nigga was he was arrested for felony robbery, man. What, what year was this? Seventeen. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Yeah, I remember that shit. He tried to rob a bank. I don't know if it was a bank. I just remember seeing on ESPN oh. it was like like Ben Gordon, you know, saying uh, former Detroit and Chicago Bull. Like it was like UConn, uh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you play? We're happy for who where do you play where do you play with? Who do you play with? Well you kinda just No 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 another NBA player. Khalid was it I don't remember Ozmi? man. Ok Okafor was Okafor Okafor, yeah, yeah. Okafor was a side. Oh, Jaleel Okafor? No, Amika. Mecca. Mecca. 
I know, know, man. Yeah, right. Who could Lil play with? Hell of me. You can. No, I'm oh, saying. Oh, he, he, was, he, was, he was a rip. <laughs> He was a rip. Yeah, he was a rip. In uh, 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 Vosco. Yeah, Vosco, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He was on the Bulls, too. Jake Vosco? Mm-hmm. For, oh, for a cup of coffee. That must have been with, uh, was that with Tim Floyd? Pink Floyd, yeah. <laughs> Tim Pink Floyd, yeah. You know, that was the, the dark years for the Bulls. Man. But you know what? I think Tim Floyd a better coach than oh, the Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody bad what we got now. Uh, Del Negro, bring him back. That's a clown. Kyle's. Damn, that's a clown Bill show. Bill Carver? I go Carver right over Boylan. Yeah, he got experience. Well, sh- Boylan should be better than what he is. He was with the Spurs. You would think. He look like he don't know nothing about what he's doing, man. He's, all he does is quote cliches. You know? Yeah. Like, man, <laughs> dog. Like, Take horrible timeouts. People be laughing at him. By the way, uh, per uh, Brian Windhorst, I guess, um, um, uh, God Foreman is 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 um is, is, his duties have been reduced. So yeah, like that's like what they firing him but not really firing him. Guard packs is they 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 there's a number, like they mm-hmm. chances are they won't be back next year. So that's they better get a, I hope they get a bright Yeah, they gotta get the right person. The right person. But I hope they hire the you know, I want them to hire the right person because we need it, man. The bull the bull fans need it, man. Like we But this year has been like everybody on the team was like injured this year. It's been a bad year for him. No, nah, man, they was injured last year. I mean, this year, they was injured this year too. The NBA has a lot of injuries. Nah, Philly got a, Philly got a lot of injuries. All right. Both of these stars. Philly, both of these. We had more than two stars hurt. We have no stars. <laughs> Zach Levine not a star. Mm. He hurt now. To me, he's empty calories. He is? Yeah. What's wrong? With him? Uh, got the neck joint. He got the James Harden with his tape. Thigh, I don't know. Because uh, he didn't play last game. Mm. He didn't play last game or this game. He hurt. Otto Porter, the big he signee. He came back. He came back. He was he, hurt all year. 18 points last night. He is hurt nights. all year, man. He Let's make, see, uh, he make it 29 mil this year. Exactly. And he's hurt all year. Yeah, he ain't played since November 6th. That's bad, man. The Let's see Chris was uh, hurt. Chris Dunn said he sees himself as the next Tony Allen. Hmm? <laughs> that's no, his aspiration. That. There's nothing wrong with that. I can see that. What is, what is the number five pick? What is he, top ten? Chris Dunn? Chris Dunn. He's in Minnesota. Three. He's a three pick. Number three pick. Mm-hmm. Third over. I mean, no, no, no. Yeah, you're right. Tony Allen was... No, he's the I, 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 Tony Allen was also a late first best round pick. Was, uh, Oklahoma State, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Dunn, <laughs> Providence, by the way. But... Uh, Tony Dunn I mean Chris Dunn I mean <clears throat> I guess that's aspiration Cause he got no jump shot And his defense is Shouldn't his, his aspiration be To be a better player Than Tony Allen But he know I've, I've heard Who said this I forgot what scout said this Anyway I've heard that After year three You are who you are If you haven't changed <laughs> In NBA Like you uh, are. I don't know if that's true. I think no. I think I think they say year four. If year four happens, they say you got four years. If you haven't changed or you haven't improved, you are who you are. Who are hard to play in OKC? No, like two, three years. But you saw yeah. potential in Harden. Right, right, right. You saw that Harden was a scorer. He won. Yeah, he, he won six he man of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, he won six man of the year. Was in his second year in the league. Right, so right, you right. saw that. But like. The scout, and, and I wish I could quote the scout, but he said, yo, like, three or four years, you are who you are. If you haven't improved or you haven't done anything that stood out, that's who you are. Take it take it as that. Like, don't think that he's going to be better than what he is. That's kind of a short window, ain't it? No, it's not. Four years? No. What about Kyle Lowry? He didn't really get good till like, five, six years, right? He's an exception. No, he's, I not think he norm. he's not the norm. Though. And I think he was decent at, uh, in Houston. Point guards, you got to get him he wasn't who he is more now. than four years. Dude, think about the NBA. You get your first contract is what? Rookie contract, four years? Yeah. Right. So if I'm a if I'm a owner, I'm not throwing you bread if I don't really see nothing. Like, I'm going to... I'm going, first of all, they got analytics and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be able to determine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like... <clears throat> Four years is more than enough time. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if you could just write somebody off after four. I didn't say write them off. I said they are who they are. Like I'm not gonna pay you. you, you like can, I'm not gonna pay you as a superstar if you haven't shown. Right. You can decide if you're gonna build your team around. This oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like okay. Tatum. Like they. Like Jalen Brown. They paid him. Like yo. Like I see what you got. Yeah. You know, they Tatum. said uh, Brown. Tatum. You see. Brown. Tatum and uh, who was it? It was somebody. It was only three players to get a uh, extension under Danny Ainge. Yeah. You see, but you see, Tatum is. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's see a real it deal. Like, mm-hmm. Starting to blossom. Yeah. He, he, he the real deal. Did so. Kyrie stunt that? Mm-hmm. What you mean? His well, blossoming. Yeah. Tatum's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. The locker. It was from the locker room. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah, think yeah. it was, was from a, the court. Was weirdo in the locker room. I think it was the locker room where, it, like, I think Kyrie is like, you know, he made people uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So like, is well, he, he, is got, he a cancer? Kinda, well, he was kind of in between. He, <laughs> he got caught in between uh, uh, the Moore's brother. Um, uh, uh, Kyrie had issues with the. What was not, is it Marquis or uh, which one played with Boston? I don't know. Uh, well, Kyrie had issues Marquee. with him, but Tatum was one of his best friends on the team. Oh, I didn't know that. So he, know he that. said, he said he, he felt in like in between, like caught. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because he was cool. He good. He good with Kyrie too. So he felt like, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a certain he isolated himself from the team. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. Kyrie so yeah, a weird cap period. Definitely. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, interesting character. Like, all the geniuses like are weird. Like he's a he's a genius. Basketball genius. Yeah. Like someone who's exceptional. you give him as a genius. Yeah, basketball nah, genius. Nah, nah, I don't mean like intellect. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I understand. From a guy that thinks the earth is flat, but you know what I'm saying. I think if you go to Kyrie, he a Hall of Famer. Good question. Yeah, he, I need more. Twelve thousand, a thousand. Pose it. Pose it to to the listeners. If he got a lot of, if he got, what's up? What's up? If, is, is Kyrie a Hall of Famer? If, if he, he ended his career now, is he a Hall of Famer? Oh, yeah. Now, now, you, if you got to look at his All Stars and All NBA, because he already got the title, right? He had a, a big shot. If, if he got the big moments, he got a bunch of All Stars and, and a couple All NBAs. He got a chance. Depending on what his the uh, question is, his right now, total. right now, if he quit, if he retires, yeah, look at his stats. To our thousands of thousands of listeners, uh, <laughs> hit, hit the comments. Hit the comments up. Which, what do y'all is, think? Is, is Kyrie, Kyrie a Hall of Famer? Is Kyrie a Hall of Famer? And right he now, right now. If, he, if Kyrie never comes back from his injury, is he a Hall of Famer? What do you say? No. I'm gonna say I need Mitch more. Richmond is I a need, Hall of Famer, by the way. Mitch Richmond got he put in work. Kansas State, by the, Kansas State, by the way. Oh yeah, Kyrie Hall of Famer, six-time All Star, two-time All NBA. Two rookie time of the, rookie of the year, all star game get MVP. In? Did Tim Bug get in? No, nah, that uh that uh John and Machi comment. <laughs> He's black and blacklisted. Yeah, that John and Machi comment didn't. Do you think he would have? Yeah. Cause I'm that's about similar to what what, what Zeke reading off, right? Who uh, number wise. No yeah, no Tim, ring of Tim Bug, yeah. Tim Bug no nah, Tim Bug don't have a ring. Kyrie need a little bit. He need like maybe one or two more years. Kyrie got more All Stars than Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway, five time All Star, five time All NBA, and All Rookie Team. That's about it. Damn. So maybe not. So you say Kyrie will make it? I would South think so. Yeah. It would be borderline though, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it would yeah, be it'd be close. Ballot. So I, no, it is not gonna not be first ballot. ballot right? No, like, it may take two. Well, no, I'd say two or three years, I think. You think so? With the man. title? Chris Webber ain't in. Chris Webber got other circumstances, man. Kyrie does. He, he lied to the grand jury. <laughs> and he didn't play in Michigan. He did. <laughs> Never played. Never I don't know. I don't know about the Fab Five. I know about the Fab Four. You didn't see a documentary? I don't know about I don't know about Chris Webber playing in Michigan. You didn't see a documentary? What about what? <laughs> if I look up Chris Webber right now, where is gonna say he went to college at? I don't know. Go. He didn't go. He was straight from high school. school. Country Day School. <laughs> Country Day. So it's, it's not gonna show his college on there as Michigan. It will, but like, all right then. He's forfeited. His no. numbers don't count, so I don't know him as from Michigan. No. Just like I don't know D Rose played in Memphis. I just know him as from Simeon. <laughs> 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 Can you explain this for people who don't know what you're talking about? Oh, uh, so like the NCAA have they they have uh, 
they erased Chris Webber's numbers. I don't know if I'm accurate on that, but no, they, they took them off the board. They took the final four. They they vacated the final four, the two final fours that the five five had, and and um, Derrick Rose that final that championship team has been vacated. That doesn't count. Like they don't acknowledge it. So therefore, I don't acknowledge them playing it. That's when Chandler hit the shot over him, right? Over Damn. Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, missed the two big free throws. You're right. Rose, so that do, that don't Rose missed two free throws in the game? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I know Chalmers is the three of them. But I don't look at, like, as a basketball purist, I don't see Chris Webber being from Michigan. Like, I don't acknowledge it. I saw it. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean you don't acknowledge it? I don't acknowledge it. Do you think he's ever getting in? Hall of Fame? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He'll get in. With the baseball, sorry to switch subjects, but with the baseball thing, you think Pete Rose, they gonna let Pete Rose in there? No, no. So they ain't let him in, but nah. He didn't even really cheat, though. He didn't, man. Like, he just gambled. He didn't cheat. He just gambled. He, there's no gambling. He gambled on his team. And he gambled on him to win. Like, if he gambled <laughs> on him to lose, okay, he can throw a game. Right, yeah. Gamble on the win just makes him play harder. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that, that is a good point. I don't get that, but... So if they take the title from Houston, you know, then they go, hell, maybe we should let Pete Rose in. They got to. If they if do, they take if the they title, do, they yeah. got to let Pete right, Rose right, right, right. in. Oh, okay. Hey, side note, though. I thought um, I thought uh, um, Tony Allen went to Wabash, Juco. Mm. Yeah, that's that's true. He went to Juco. But mm. then he went to, then he went Oklahoma to Oklahoma State. I don't okay. care about Juco. He finished okay. at Oklahoma State. No, no. Okay. yeah, he, he, didn't he, say, got, he didn't say he went there though. No, no I don't just, care about Juco. Like, <laughs> I wasn't like, attacking your. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying like I don't Tony, remember him as Tony. Tony yeah, you can you you can try yo. Zeke, <laughs> you you want to lose? <laughs> Zeke, Zeke and his cousin. You know who you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, like he he um he went to Juco, but then he went to OK. No, okay. maybe he learned the game in in, in Juco. Like Mike learned the game in Brooklyn. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to that's where Mike is from. If you didn't know Michael Jordan is from Brooklyn Just so you know He's He was born, born in Brooklyn right? That's where he's from He's born <laughs> Alright <laughs> born in, He was born in Brooklyn <laughs> He's not from Brooklyn He's where not he's from man. Dude I swear you belong under a bridge man Like you're a true troll man Like <laughs> <laughs> you be Where is this <laughs> Hey, this Gibbs from uh, one of the best Shot Town rappers. He's from Gary. So, is he one of the best Indi- Indiana rappers? That's where he's, he's from. Gary, he reps. Gary, well, he reps Chicago too. Mm, okay. But if you ask him where he's from, what do you think he gonna say? I don't know. He gonna say Gary. <laughs> Speaking of rappers, man, y'all heard about Bone? Bone Crusher? No, Bone Thugs and Harmony. The Dude, they did the ultimate soul selling. They are no longer Bone Thugs and Harmony. They're boneless Thugs and Harmony. Huh? They signed a deal with with uh, 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 Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> They've officially changed their na- flesh. Bone is no longer flesh bone. He's he's bone flesh boneless. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, they're bo- look it up. It's official. They are no longer on bone the, the thugs. Onion or something? No, yeah. they got the a whole, onion. No, it's official. <laughs> so well, I'm assuming they're not releasing any more music. I'm assuming to go on a limb and say they don't give a damn about music credibility. Right? What is? How is this making money for? They finna make jingles for B- Buffalo Wild Wings or something? Yes, they signed signed a deal, a multi-million dollar deal. Huh? With, yes. Nah, Google I, that part, I don't believe. To the internet. <laughs> Multi- <laughs> Why would they give Bone Thugs only millions of dollars for that? <laughs> the word Bone. <laughs> they changed their name to Boneless. <laughs> but doesn't Buff- uh, Buffalo Wild Wings sell bone <laughs> actual wings? Like, right. They I can see if they only wings. sold boneless wings. But no. Google it, dog. There's no longer bone. There's no more Bone Thugs in Harmony. Is a boneless wing a nugget? <laughs> <laughs> That's a chicken nugget, right, right? It kinda is. <laughs> That's all it is. 
Buffalo uh, boneless wings are really chicken nuggets. It's a, a bigger nugget. <laughs> Motherfuckers, the motherfuckers been tricking me this whole fucking time. <laughs> and they charge you for a wing. It's not right. a nugget. <laughs> Bitch ass niggas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't thinking about doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking about I'm not a fan of that move though. Mm. Well, how, how many millions did they get? <laughs> right, right. They probably ran through all that shit. Yeah, I'm not giving Bone Thugs millions of dollars. How many? By the way, um, we went to the Griselda concert. Yo. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sit through I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to sit through what? Ten acts that I didn't care for. We had so ten. when you when you go to a concert, how many what's a Three. good number what's a good number of opening acts? A maximum first of all I want them to be associated with the artist. True. How many Flea Lord, had half of them were. We like, saw about Flea Lord five, was associated. Right? Yeah, we no we saw more than five. It was more than five? Yeah. The New York cat, the the one that was like kind of weird with glasses. I don't think he was with. with Brazil. Nah, nah. I think he, he's from Chicago. I no, think. he's from Bronx. The oh, right, right, right. Yeah, he was yeah, from the Bronx. I forget. I don't even remember. The first act. No, that was just a Chicago. Right, Chicago. Act. What was the name? Fast B. You wanted to see him. I wanted. Yeah, I was let down. Remember the text message? Yo, he was like, yo, he's like, I want to see uh. Fast B or something. I don't remember his name. I don't either. I take them type of opportunities to fly and hear new shit, and you know, sometimes I'm, sometimes uh, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm pleased. No, sometimes I, I'm I let res- down. I respect you for so that. So the number is three. The three. No, I, 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 I'll say five. I five mean, is a good number. Because five acts equals ten minutes. That's an hour. It's an hour of my time I get to listen to. New. Five acts in ten minutes. Oh, five X an hour? Five X an hour. You only get like 10, 15 minutes. 20 minutes max. 20 minutes max. Yeah, 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 that's, that's true. Right? You get a, give me an hour of opening ma- opening acts, I'm cool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's don't cool. give me three hours. <laughs> <laughs> My only issue with these promoters, I, I wish they would, they're, they're just shameless. They take the money, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If I wish they would vet, you know what I'm saying, out their acts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Go for quality. You know what I'm saying? Like they just taking whoever paying. There you go. You got the money. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they'll do twenty of them. You know what I'm saying? Like we got lucky. You know what I'm saying? I've been to shows. We've been. To, remember Nori at, at uh fucking um wait uh, uh not Nori uh Ray who did we see at, at back in at the shrine? Who did we see at the shrine back in the day? Red man. Yeah, Eric Sermon. Red man, Red man, Eric Sermon, and uh it was like a million acts. Yeah, it was. A million <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. That's what promoters, those acts, they pay to play. And Jazzo came out. He was real icy. Jazzo came out. Mm-hmm. He was real. Perform? Yeah, he, perform, he was icy. You know? As an opener? Nah, like he came right before Redman and Eric Sun. And oh, he closed with his verse on uh, yeah. on Jay-Z. Uh, what you call it? Oh, Jigga what? Jigga what, man. Mm-hmm. That's his claim to fame. Like, man. Yeah. He's a, yeah. <laughs> he did Sophie. He so did Hawaiian Sophie. What do y'all think? How many acts? Yeah, I think... What you said, an hour is good. That's cool. Give me an hour of opening acts. I'm cool with it. It's, to me, it's all about the quality. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, quality too. The yeah. main complaint is they be trash. You know what I'm saying? It could be an amateur act, but just, just vet out. See, all right, you're good. Come on. You're when right, I went to man. see Wiz, he had Yellow Wolf open for him. Mm. And he That's he crazy. had the crowd go crazy. <laughs> This was like before he was popping, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's an opening. That's mm-hmm. that's a hell of an open act right there. That's damn well, I was up. like, man, who is this dude? <laughs> well, I mean, he had Flea open. You had Flea open. Flea, I was cool. With. Yeah, I like. Flea. He's like the opening act before Griselda. He's right? with them though, right? Yeah, but he's the opening act though. But you True. can almost see you can see the difference between a, a yeah yeah a, the veteran performer and like mm-hmm. these you know what I'm saying like Flea. You know what I'm saying? He rapping, spitting his bar away, pouring Hennessy in people's cups on the right. front. Right. Mm-hmm. That's vet. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's vet shit right there. Like, Did y'all like the concert? Yeah. yeah. Overall? Good concert. Mm-hmm. concert. 
Michael Rappaport, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he um, came out. Made, 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 made his usual. Wale came out. Shout out to Wale. Uh, Boldy James. Boldy James. Yeah, that was a surprise. Big fan of Boldy, man. I'm a new fan. Overall, you know what I'm saying? Westside, Conway, and uh, uh, Benny the Butcher missed. He fucked up his Once lines. again. <laughs> And we've seen him like Get your shit together What the fuck Benny You nice man Get your balls together man Hey man Smoking Yeah smoking And he touring and making money Conway smoke <laughs> He shit He shit is like yeah, flawless he ain't, he ain't forgetting the line Yeah and he was bouncing and dancing Like he was like, he Shout out to uh, Westside for being in that Montclair jacket And he was like A winter coat A winter down coat his, Down his knees Right, right. He's still performing. Like I know he was hot. I know he was. I know he was hot. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know some niggas don't. You know what I'm saying? You ever hoop with cats that like they they not an ounce of sweat? We hooping hard. You know. We, <laughs> like some cats just don't get don't be hot like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If that was me. I'd be fucking. <laughs> you know, the cats be slipping on the puddles. <laughs> Overall, y'all y'all did like the concert. Yeah, it was the other concert. Yeah, please. I, w- I would go back. Unless that's like the third, what? fourth time we had seen them. Third yeah. time, no. What do you, Z, you said something about what uh, new artists need to do to, to grab our attention. What is it? When they're opening. Like, so Come we don't know. the gimmick? Yeah, so we don't know. Like, one of the, act, one of the opening acts. Uh, the guy came out in the wheelchair, and I remember Zeke said, "Man, that is entourage, right? his entourage." And he's like, "Man, that's hard." You know, hard. <laughs> like, man, he, that's hard. Yeah, you bring a dude in the wheelchair, wheelchair up there. you about that life. Yeah, so, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. Feel, so right? give me, give me some of the the nuances that that will grab your attention. Well, I was telling Joe, like, like, man, you think if one of these dudes, because the crowd wasn't really feeling yeah, a lot of them. No, right. not even not. the first dude. He, the first dude had a decent. Um, stage presence, kind of. He had, well, he had the uh, the graphics going on the screen. He had his name and all that. <laughs> his least, music was good, but it's to me his stage presence. It's, yeah, he it's wasn't really moving around good. like that. He had the uh, he had the hype man with him. He had a couple people on stage. Hype man was trash, right? You knew his name. The name was behind him. Right, right. I was telling Joe, like, man, if one of these dudes came out with like a, a bulletproof vest or something, I'd start paying attention. Like, man, who's this dude? I must have been through something. I really would have started paying attention if the dude in the wheelchair had a bulletproof <laughs> vest. Like, yeah. why does he need one? He, he's already proven that. Hey, man. I'm in a wheelchair. And he's, he's, still, he's still in the field. They, like, he's he, still he, looking he, for me. Right, right, right. He's still out here. Yeah. No, no one's... No one, uh, or if you could, have, you could bring a chick on stage, bring some chicks. Don't yeah, I know. <laughs> All that shit something counts. Something to make me pay attention. Something yeah. to make the crowd... Uh, interact with you. I don't want you to say, "Yo, Flea, throw your Flea, hands up." Yo, Flea was uh, pouring out liquor. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's dope. That's why that's why he was spitting his why he was spitting his body. He's pouring out Pass, Passed out cups. Yeah, that's dope. And Uh-oh. that's one thing I will say about Griselda, dog. They have the most fucking hard legs at their shows. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and West Side yeah, said, "Where the ladies at?" I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> nigga, not he said that every show." <laughs> He's like, "Where the ladies at?" I'm like, "Yo, nigga. do you right? Do you know?" No, the no, yeah. only chicks that was there was they dudes. To, Yo, come to this concert with me. Right. There wasn't no, there wasn't no group of chicks in there by themselves. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bitches mm-hmm. like, like, like get, getting right. You know, unless that? unless they knew somebody opening or something. <laughs> If they did, they would have wearing a smock, right, bitty, yeah. a bitty smock. While we on Griselda, let me it's a perfect segue. Uh, let me shout out to uh, a actual guy that was at the show that reached out to us on the on the, on the pod, man. You know what I'm saying? Salute to Nino Black. You know what I'm saying? Go get that album he got with uh, what is it? Uh, Never lose passion. Nino Black is on all platforms. I checked it out. Uh, the one track, uh, Onyx Stones. That should go hard. Um, Never Lose Passion by Nino Black. Nino is N E N O. He was at the Griselda joint, you know what I'm saying? I saw, I saw on his, uh, I checked out his gram. He was, uh, he was up there with us. Oh, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? He oh, reached so out to check you, out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, um, the world gets smaller. <laughs> well, actually, Rick Ross and, uh, Westside had a track we talked about earlier. Mm hmm. Decent. Uh, I'm a fan. I like it. I like seeing. I like hearing. 
I'm, I like seeing the West Side uh, them get challenged by different, because you know they got the boom bap shit. Mm -hmm. right. I like him spit over a different type of beats, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He did his thing, West did his thing. And that's that's Rick Ross shit all day, so. Right. Yeah. Y'all heard the new G Herbo? No. No. That shit, man. I didn't know that dude. Out. I didn't know he was, uh, I guess, popping like that. I seen him do some show. G Herbo? Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, know he was he, that big of an artist. Like, yeah. He had the whole, I, I don't remember where it was at. It might have been uh, New York. Um, he had the whole place. Like, it looked like it was a sold out show. I'm like, yeah, I didn't Herbo know. Herbo on, man. Yeah. The album decent, man. He, I like hearing that he got a joint with him and the Lil Dirt. Like seeing that connection, you know what I'm saying? That's, um, you got the BDs and the GDs, you know, you know what I'm saying, on the track, <laughs> showing a little unity. Do you want to explain uh, what that is to people who don't know? Yeah. I'm sure they know. <laughs> you know what I'm okay. saying? BDs is Black Disciples, the GDs is Gangster Disciples. Although, I don't know uh, about Herbo, because uh, he's from, uh, it's called NLMB, that's like kind of a, um, a mixture, it's like Stones and GDs and that set. So I don't know if he want to be a stone or if he a gangster, but um, he got uh, so he got a joint with um, with Chance. He bought like we were saying. Remember we saw about Chance? Like we recognize his skill, even yeah. though he doesn't make music for us. Uh -huh. He bought that that real shit out of out of Chance. Like that verse on on the, it's with Juice and Ch Juice World and uh, Chance. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember they did have a track. Shit, uh, and they redid that uh, that that uh, the, uh, what you call it beat. Um, uh, the the, uh, the Benny Siegel um, feel it in the air. He trapped it out. Mm. It went hard. That shit go hard. Hey, G Herbo came with it on this one, man. I see the the growth. Like you know what I'm saying. Well, I gotta check it out. Like I haven't checked out G Herbo, but out of all y'all, out of the three of us, I probably don't listen to new music. Too much. <laughs> new new music cats, and it doesn't mean that <laughs> I'm not willing to listen to it. I'm just I'm rigid. That's what I like. Trapped in the nineties. I'm not trapped in the 90s. I listen to 2000 shit. Look at your shirt. It's an 80s shirt. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your shirt. You're a Bucks fan. You're really a Bulls I'm a, fan. I'm a basketball fan. Well, you're rocking a Bucks. Hey, man. Wait, wait, wait. You talk about me? He got a fucking 70s shirt. That's like the 70s, 80s, dude. Hey, but I just talked about G Herbo. I fucked with her, though, yeah. man. Yeah. I guess, I guess you. Speaking of Run DMC, RIP to Jam Master J. Y'all wanna. Send y'all condolences to uh, Pop Smoke. I mean, because he's a human. Because he's a human. Yeah, RIP to Pop Smoke. I won't yeah, see anybody that's, that's die. That's a sad situation, man. Yeah. I wasn't the human. Oh, I, I didn't know. I didn't even know. This guy had never even heard of him. I mean, he didn't make music for us. So, hey, that's you know true. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He, mm -hmm. 50 gonna finish his album. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all finish his album. But you can see that he was 50 on the rise. He was, he was blowing up. He was going to be a big artist. He kind of already was, but... Happy mm -hmm. belated to meth. Yeah. 49. Cl Clifford Smith. Clifford. Clifford Smith. <laughs> A.K.A. Iron Lung. A.K.A. Tekalian. Johnny Stanley. Blaze. A.K.A. Johnny Blaze. A.K.A. A made a, a, a classic in How High. Y'all don't think How High is a classic? Uh, it's a good movie. It's classic. not a classic. It's a good movie. How high? Is, wow. Wow. Friday's a classic. If, it come, high if How High Friday? come on TV, um, I'll probably change the channel. You you wouldn't watch? Depending on, my mode, wow. depending on my mold, I watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, how high? I, to our thousands and thousands of listeners, Joe, like, tell us if How High is a classic. I think How High is a classic. I wouldn't say so. Yeah. It's House, a good movie. How Party, that's movie. a classic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh you went back on me. <laughs> yeah. You went back to the 80s. Yo, <laughs> that was that was early nineties, but okay. How no, house party's eighties. No, well, that 80s. was that was early nineties, like ninety one or something like that. Yeah. Damn. Alright. Shout out Robin Harris while we shot people. That's <laughs> 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 too baby. R.I.P. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Anybody else that died? Uh, dude, oh, dude from uh, I don't even remember his name. I don't know if I know. I should bring it up. Dude from uh, Inside the Actor Studio died. The uh, interview guy. I don't know his name. No, <laughs> he was like ninety three though. <laughs> 
Inside the NBA guy? No, no, no. Uh, it's called Inside the Actor Studio. So like, he interviews uh, actors. Like he interviewed Dave Chappelle and I forgot his name. No, I want to know this. I repeated you guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking about it. Uh, while we're getting into a little fan appreciation, we got a question from a fan. What is it? And, uh, the <laughs> well, let me tell you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> uh, uh, this fan wants to remain anonymous, and uh, uh -huh. I respect that. I honor it. Male um, or female? Female. Oh, all right. I think I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it? Nah, she, um, she asked the guys at the Sports Life and Hip Hop, what do we think? First, how soon? She said, how soon? It's too soon to be introduced to the to someone to the to parents. How <clears throat> soon is too soon? What's a good? You know what I'm saying? She's wondering. I guess this guy that she's messing with is introduced. Is wants to introduce her to to his parents. And um, how long they been talking? They fucking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I don't, you know what I'm <laughs> they fucking. You know what I'm I don't know how, how long, long they've they been talking. I'm not. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just know they fucking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Um, kind of need to know how long. Pause. Let's <laughs> go. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Valid. Let's throw three months out there. Oh, that's too soon. Too soon. Too way too soon. Let me throw a caveat out there. He's he's still married. Separated, filed for divorce, but oh, he's legally he still married. Even, he gonna have to wait even longer then. To me, it takes some kahunas to introduce yeah, to the family. Yeah, still married. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it takes kahunas for that. Well, if the other, if the wife has been out the picture for a man, they just not officially uh, yeah, divorced. Yeah, right, right, right. that's a little different. But if you, if she just meeting this, she didn't know him before. Like they just met and. Right. Now, just say, let's. All right. Let's make it four months. Three, four months. That's still there. too soon to meet my parents. Been out of town. Nah, I ain't meet my parents. Right, right, right. right. No, four months. Yeah, be at least four months. Is at least a year. So. At least for life. <laughs> for life. <laughs> at at least a year. Yeah, at least a year. What about the? Is this now? If she, if he wasn't married, does that have any? No, nah, that matters. Still need at least a year. It's still, yeah, sometime. at least. Well, yeah. there you have it, anonymous listener. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of bounds. If a dude want to, no, dude is out of pocket. If a dude want to introduce a chick to his, like, yo, come meet my mom after four months. He's thirsty. Yeah, right, 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 that's, right, right, that's right. a little weird. Why? Why He's does his mom care? And plus, if he. Still His mom married. probably don't even want to meet her. Right, right. He'll respect that. <laughs> right. She'll respect that, bro. Mm -hmm. Four months a year. That's like... That's like you got your hand on a, like, a candy bar that ain't no one else got. And he's like, yo, <laughs> I got it. So let me, <laughs> yeah, let me right, right, right. play it. You Is know what I'm saying? Like, he mad, he mad thirsty. Being that like, he still, never been around, like, a candy bar. He's like, super he's, excited about it. He's super excited about this candy bar. I'm also mm. curious how his wife looks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is she trash or like he nah, just going to go gaga over her? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's I mean, why I she, said he, he made Right, right. That's why. Thirsty. That's what made me think of that. You said, yo, like, Anonymous thirsty. look way better than my wife. Let me, let me show my mom. <laughs> what you got now? Is she a rebound? Being that he's still married, is she like a re? Is Anonymous still a rebound? No, nah, I mean, is she a real? I mean, you don't know, like a you quick know, rebound. You don't know how Duke feel, like Duke might, you know, he from he might feel mad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Carl Thomas, like emotional, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he might he might be feeling the hard, so like you can't really call it, like you don't know, like feeling the right. wife. Huh? Feeling, feeling the wife hard or feeling anonymous? Feeling oh, anonymous. okay. So you don't know, oh, yeah, like definitely. Yeah, you don't know, like it could. I don't know, like you you could definitely. You don't know how, you know what I'm saying, people react like. So he might think that Shorty is like super dope and he'd be like, Man, I'm I'm fl he he flipping, you know? Right, he right, might, right, he, right. He, 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 
Just he dolphin like over right. the cheese. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just be a goof. Like, like, and and you know what I'm saying? If she gave up the cakes, you know what I'm saying? Like man. he he like, yo. Man, I'm in there. Oh, man, this shit. <laughs> she done cold. put on, she done put it on him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, this like fucking, you know what I'm saying? The Hoggins eyes. They was messing with Nestle Crunch. <laughs> yeah, like you know you don't know. So like and, and we don't know how long it's been, but regardless of the fact, like it time it takes time like three four months and we don't know but that ain't that's kind of thirsty and he like super geeked so with that being said he 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 never got he must have been driving like a Ford Escort he ran he ran, a, he, ran a, he ran across you know what I'm saying he ran he ran across like every time nah he <laughs> ran across he ran across, across the, the Audi or a Benz or something like that <laughs> he said a <laughs> <laughs> he ran, he ran across he ran a Ford Escort hey man that's not the same like category. Two, like a 2000 great? No. <laughs> <laughs> he, ran, he ran across, you know, one of them foreign joints. He, he, oh. feeling, he, feel, he feeling mad, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's salivating. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. Drop the top. You know what I'm saying? That's all. <laughs> Yo, relax. Yo, relax, Paul. You know what I'm saying? Yo, keep keep hitting the cakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep hitting the cakes. Right. And, and, and let it let it grow whatever it needs to do. Talk what about, else? Talk about the kicks is coming out, yo. I don't know how you segue from that, but <laughs> like, uh, Zeke, me, uh, first of all, Zeke and I are mad sneakerheads. Uh, today, I wouldn't say that he has some cool sneakers, but he's a comfort. I wear, I wear shoes for comfort, but Zeke thinks that Jordan 8 are one of the top five sneakers of all time. Top five Jordan. <laughs> Top out Jordan? Yeah. Easily. No. Elevens. Eights. This is in no order. Elevens. Uh, no, ones, threes. Ones are not on the list. Ones, threes, One, fours. Even though Jordan five. Ones was my first shoe ever, they're not on the list. Elevens. Uh, eights. Why eights? Three, four. Why are eights even on there, yo? Like no one ever, yo, no one even talks about eights. No one says eights are like their faves. And probably twelves. I'll put the twelves on there. Eleven, eight, three, four. 12. Anyway, are you buying the Carolina threes? Yes, I want to get those. Carolina threes. Is I'm not a fan of that of the insert being cardboard, but. <laughs> Because the shoe insert on the Jordan 11s is plastic and it's the color of the shoe. I appreciate that. So that I, shows they put some thought into it. So I take it that you didn't like the All Star 3s, the red joints? Nah, I wasn't really a fan of those. Too much red. Hmm. These nice little, nice little hand of Carolina blue. I like these. Now, to both of y'all, even though I've seen Joe Hoop and some K Swiss. <laughs> What is your top five favorite sneakers? And to our listeners, to our viewers, you know, you can comment, you can also chime in. But what is your top five favorite sneaker of all time? Jordan 11. <laughs> doesn't matter, it doesn't matter the colorway. Like, colorway is like, it's too much. But just, doesn't matter what shoe, but top five. Jordan 8. <laughs> Jordan 8 is up there. I guess I will put Air Force One on there. Air Force One? Yeah, I've rocked Air Force Ones a lot in my life. Not you so know. much now, but I've never coming up, that was, never that was one of my, huh? I never owned a pair of Air Force Ones. For real? Nah, I'm dead. Hmm. They're not comfortable. A sneaker. You didn't have the Rasheed Wallace ones? Nah, man. I didn't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. That don't mean them hate me. You said you're a sneakerhead, though. You never had a pair of ones? You like Chrome 8s. No, those look trash to me. You never had a... How are you a sneakerhead? You never had a pair of Air Force Ones. Air Force Ones? I'm one? questioning your sneaker credibility now. I know more than you. You never had a pair of Air Force Ones. Because I didn't like them. 
Common said, if I don't like you, I don't like you. That don't mean that I'm hating. That don't mean that I that I dislike you because you got Air Force Ones. It's just not my thing. It's not. It's not. It's not me. This. You said sneakers, right? Yeah. So we're not putting Tims on there. <laughs> yeah, Joe would be like right. Tim's, Tim's, uh, Tim's, Tim's, Tim's. I like the uh, SpongeBob Kyrie's as your top five sneaker of all time. I'm not a sneaker. Yeah, yeah. No, I forgot. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to think what sneakers I've had in my life. It's been probably mostly Yo, George. Top five sneaker for me. Fear of gods. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan one. Ye- Ye- Jordan one, Yeezy two. I never right. owned a Yeezy. Though. I, I know I've owned Yeezy, but Adidas Yeezy, not Nike Yeezy. Um, when I say Yeezy, I mean Yeezy two. Um, I forgot the name. Not Red Octopus. I wasn't feeling those. I like those. I the want black joints. Those. The black joints. Um, anyway, Yeezy two, Jordan one, uh, Jordan. Jordan 4 Jordan 4 Cement mm-hmm. Jordan 4 Cement And um I'm gonna have to go Jordan 6 I don't know if that was 5 Jordan 6 When you type Jordan 6 is What the infrareds Yeah Jordan 6 is a mad dope Uh I never had a pair of 6's Is that bad Mad uncomfortable No it's not bad no. They mad uncomfortable It's not as bad as not You, you can't hoop in you can't hoop in those either. Like Jordan Sixes are trash to hoop in. They look heavy. Man, they they bolt like. Um, but uh, those are my top five. But sneaker wise, like I don't know. Like sneakers for me is like you know how some people have like weed as their vice or they have. Um, Masturbation. Porn. Master porn is their vice. Like sneakers <laughs> to me is my vice. Like I would I would definitely like when Bobito like Who? Bobito. Bobito know. Garcia. The Hoopa, yo. For people who don't know. But people that don't know, Bobito Garcia, the the legend New York, you know what I'm saying? New York uh, street baller. Stretching Bobito. Stretching Bobito, like like sneakers is the word. Like I would spend my last. I wouldn't say my last <laughs> because I'm old as fuck. But um, I would I would definitely spend a nice grip of money on sneakers. Like sneakers is dope to me. Like you could just rock whatever, but your sneakers. I w- I would spend. You know. What's the most you ever spent? Damn. I think for me, probably. Like, to, nah, to I didn't spend something. over that. Yeah. In fact, you helped you help me out with uh, one of the sneakers I spent over the summer. That's the most ever. Nah, I spent more than that. I think I, the most I've spent maybe oh, been seven or eight. Huh? Yeah, I think I spent. What seven. shoe is this? I'm not gonna say. Why? <laughs> I'm not gonna say, man. Why not? I don't want to say, man. Why would you want to say? Because I feel bad. Yeah, it is. I feel bad. Oh, you know, so it wasn't worth that amount? Hell no. Nah. No shoe is worth that amount. So this was, uh, you purchased from a reseller? Yeah. Yeah, I did. And you just really wanted the shoe? I really wanted well, the how shoe. Well, how much was the shoe when it first came out? Oh, man. Uh, no, actually, I think there was some uh, foreign joints. There was one, that's, there was some, uh, there was some, uh, I want to say Prada's or some shit, and I don't. I didn't feel good. I, I still spent it. You know, like Wait, so why when you were in college, so you get that refund check, and I got that <laughs> refund check, and I was like, "Yo, what did you get? Yeah, refund check? Man, yo, for the college students out there, when you get that refund check, that shit is dope. You like, yeah. oh yeah, like. So I spent it on that, and I was like, shit. Like, you still have the shoes? Nah. Damn, <laughs> boys. Wow. I'm trying to figure out why was the shoe so much though. That's that was just the price of the shoe? Because it was a foreign joint. It was oh, one of the okay. products. So it was already marked. I mean, I know what it is, but I'm not telling y'all like <laughs> like Gucci <laughs> Prada. Why? No, I forgot actually. No, real talk, I did forget. It's like a Gucci Prada sneaker. I, don't know. I felt No, oh, like a dress shoe kind of sneaker. No, nah, it was a sneaker. It wasn't a dress shoe. Like a, a like a luxury sneaker. 
Alright. You wanna go that route? Sure. Okay. Like, your like some Louis Vuitton sneakers. The, the Louis Vuitton shoe that looked like a bootleg Air Force One. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, but it wasn't that. But it was, oh, right, some, it was some like, of that of yeah, that ilk. Of that ilk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I felt horrible though, yo. Like, but so you bought it from a store. Yeah, oh, man, okay. I felt I felt bad. Not you know what I'm saying. I felt I'm thinking it's a shoe that came out and you couldn't get it anymore, and you end up buying it from the reseller. Or no, you know, recent I probably I would say the Fear of Gods is where I spent bread where I couldn't get them, and I was like, damn, I really want. Them. Okay. And that that was a five piece. And I didn't feel good. But I still like them though. But that sneaker yeah, like Phil Guys was hard. Didn't you hoop them, didn't you? Yeah, I did hoop them. Right, yeah, it was hard. Do I get do I get street cred? Do I get cool cred? <laughs> oh yeah. You shit it um, on you shit it on quite a few people, I know. <laughs> yeah, I was hooping in Fear of Gods, you know what I'm saying? In front of an audience. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't an export. <laughs> Fuck export. <laughs> yeah, why did you? Why do you say that? Joe? Yeah, why do you mm-hmm. say that, Joe? What do you have against export? Yeah. Um, they uh, they they recently <laughs> banned me because <laughs> I don't want to wear a fucking uh, a wristband. What's wrong with wearing, What's a wrong wristband? wearing a wristband, Joe? And I'm sorry if this sounds, you know orchestrated but it's not like, <laughs> I really am wondering why this dude don't wear, nah, wear did, a wristband at x it's not a cool <laughs> wristband like this right if it was that <laughs> one, <laughs> what <laughs> you talking about a paper wristband like you get in the club right yeah man like the same wristband you get you, they put on your kids when you bring them to the daycare mm-hmm. you have a problem with that I have a problem with that like you know what I'm saying I have a problem with fucking just Rule authority in general, like you know what I'm saying, like pointless authority, like you know what I'm saying, like. Why do they want you to wear this? Evidently, there was a fight with some non-members on the basketball court only. That's a ma- on the, only the basketball court, and you know who mainly occupies the basketball oh, court. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. I see where you're coming from now. Yeah. And not only that, so it was non-members. So I'm like, all right, so. Why don't you have the non-members wear the fucking wristband? You know what I'm saying? Why are actually sense. members? Yeah. Why penalize the members? What did okay. you said that? I simply said, you probably okay. gave out some f words. No, so. that was no. You know what I'm saying? I just simply said, hey, I'll put it on my shirt. It's even more visible than on my wrist. You can see from. You only have to come in the gym. You can see he's. Oh, he has his wristband. How would you put it on your shirt? Because it has the adhesive. You no, know, it wraps around. And there's an adhesive. There. Right, right. He, so I just stuck it on my shirt. Oh, it's an irritating adhesive too, because it, you know, what I'm saying, it, like you could wash it and there'll still be traces of it. So it wasn't coming off. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I come up there, I, I come up there with the fam. You know what I'm saying? They say you're banned. You know what I'm saying? So I, it burnt. As soon as you walk through the door, they say, "Yeah, hey, you're banned." No, I just scanned my key card, and you know what I'm saying. He, he told me that I was banned. You know what I'm saying? I had to call. You got to call didn't this work. number, right? He said you have to call this number. So I talked to the chick. You know what I'm saying? And it, it ate ate me alive to have to fucking say. She said, "Well, look, the buck stops here. You know what I'm saying? You're either gonna conform or you're not." I said, "Oh, the buck stops here." She said, said that to you. Yeah, she said the buck stops here. I said, "I'll conform to this stupid rule, but can I make it a suggestion?" And you know what I'm saying? And it, at the end of the day, I, I had to hear before. it, buddy. Right. No, she listened. You know oh, what I'm saying? She patronized me. You know what I'm saying? But stupid shit, man. So your suggestion was let me wear it on my shirt. I was like, well, no, I told her, I said, once you make the non member oh, okay. in the gym, you know what I'm saying, where the, where the wristbands, so you see them with it on. That would make more sense. They shouldn't be in the gym, right. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn. Fuck Yasmin, the manager. Wow. Hey, I'm calling kidding. you out. <laughs> Fat ass. She wore these stretch pants hey. thinking, thinking she got. Then your ass ain't big, ho. <laughs> <laughs> you just wear some stretch pants. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yasmin at Brickyard Export. <laughs> trash. <laughs> you trash. <laughs> hey, your manager asked you ain't getting no bread. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, slow down, you're Paul. Going, Yo, the export on Brickyard is trash. Slow down, Paul. You don't know, man. Let her live, man. You get yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. yeah. You just fucking <laughs> trash. She fucked my life up. You know what I'm saying? I was, your life I was looking in the FFC and Lifetime. I was like, I gotta find a gym. Oh, okay. <laughs> I panicked briefly. 
You know what I'm saying? But whatever. That's because you bucked the system. Right. <laughs> And she said, I fought the law and the law won. And she said, yo, the buck stops here. And you're like, all right. <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> you thought you was going in for a layup. She beat that shit against the glass. <laughs> 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 she definitely hit you with that. <laughs> yeah, the, What's the best export? No, 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 no. Mm. Z has a whole fucking system on Hoopers at export about what they look like. He, he'll tell me, like, we'll be at the gym and he'll be like, yo, that nigga could hoop. I'll be like, why? Because got random, random tournament tee. Random tournament tee. So I'm going to let you tell the people. The random tournament tee you can play. What the people need, like, what, what Makes you known as a hooper. If you got a knee, if you got a knee brace on, you could play. That mean you, that mean you've been through it and you still want to hoop. You got determination. If you got the ankle, the ankle braces that tie up with the strip with the string, that mean you could play. Right. Uh, what if you got a jersey on? Um, I'm wearing a Ben Gordon jersey. Nah, nah, that, that might be trash. Right. That means you just love basketball. You like, yo, I'm gonna wear my jersey out here. So if you're wearing Mitchell and that shorts, you, you can't hoop. Yeah, it goes the opposite way. You can go to too much uh, accessory and then you can yeah, get trash. Yeah, too much accessory. Yeah, if too yeah, much. So, you, so if I'm wearing the Iverson arm sleeve, that means if I you got an arm sleeve on period of export, I'm <laughs> I'm doubting your game. Right. I don't even see the point of an arm sleeve in the, in the league. So <laughs> what if I'm, yeah. what if I'm wearing case? <laughs> what am I rocking K Swiss and they tied up tight and, and the fucking front of them the front of them like this yo hey. look at Joe she was like hey hey, hey. I knew the perception. <laughs> I knew the perception. I was like, damn, this nigga got you, K Swiss. I played the I played had the game of my life. Because I only it. because I knew I knew niggas was gonna think all this nigga trash. Went crazy on them. Zeke I had to. Zeke. Zeke, the nigga's shoes was tied up like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, shout out Joe Sledge. Joe Sledge was there, man. He saw me, man. I went crazy that game. Killing, so it don't matter. But how many points you had that game? I don't remember the points, but I'm, 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 I was I made a dent. But I'm saying, but to your point though, you're right. I knew what Cass was thinking. I said I gotta come with it. Man. So he used that to his advantage. That's Z, it. I saw this nigga with K Swiss. I was like, boy, what is, what is them shits? Hey, them Windy shit, City man. Fieldhouse. I played a t- I played a tournament in my Tims. I forgot my shoes at the crib. I forgot my shoes. No, no, that's cool. That's cool. I tied my shit as tight as possible. Huh? And I ran. Yeah, I can see that. In Tim's? Yeah, yeah, man. You know, you're not hooping in Tim's. Nah, you no choice. You got no choice. Like, if you want to hoop, you gotta, you gotta hoop. It was, it was a four. It was a Windy City. You had to have. It was five of us. I was the fifth. They let you 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 scuff up their court. No, when he when got there, it got that rubber shit. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, they got that rubber shit. What if what if, what if I got a what if I got a headband? Am I cool? I'm do I look like a who if I got a headband? Headband indifferent. But that's where it stops though. No wristband. Wristband and a his yeah, So if you got the Jordan elbow band, that's <laughs> with the wristband, yeah, that's with true. the headband, <laughs> no, with the elbow band, like oh yeah, yeah, yeah right, Jordan right, right, right. elbow band, the penny elbow band. Yo, you know what the most what worthless piece of uh, piece of uh, uh, worthless basketball accessory was the Jordan calf band. I had one. <laughs> you had one that shit. I wore it. And it actually, it felt too tight. It made me cramp up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to look. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... You were young, though. You'd probably... Yeah, there you go. I'm just saying, like... But you can't do that shit now. You get cramped. Not cats with the the, the three-quarter length stretch. Yeah, the... the, the, uh, Tights. Tights. Under the short. You know what I'm saying? What if you got that on? Oh, people think you're official with this. Mm. Wow. Yo, man. Yo, you was on... G League? Like, nah. Yeah, don't let it be a college or like a, some like oh, yeah. something random, not in the Random college? Oh, man. Yeah. oh, yeah, you real. Random college, random tournaments, fucking uh, the 
the nighttime tournament of such and such. Yeah, midnight, play. midnight, midnight. Right, mid, midnight madness, something <laughs> like that. Yeah, what torn jersey? Like when this like. What was that like? Early two thousands, late nineties, where Cass was like, "What well, it might not be right." It was all, oh yeah, it might as well not even be on. It was hanging around their neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the signs are out there, man. Pay attention. Yeah, man. So, so that's what you look for when you picking a team hooping. Oh yeah. When you like, yo, if let's I see shoot, a dude, let's shoot a, a ten, let's shoot a four, and you shoot, you like, yo. Let me let me see. I'm picking random tournament T guy. Mm. If I see the guy with a with a Bulls jersey with matching Bulls shorts, I'm probably not gonna pick him. What about the guy that like bullshits and like shoots at the other end of the court? Joe Greer. Joe. <laughs> that shoots at the other end of the court and like works on his game. But like, no, I'm straight. Like I don't I don't wanna play this fool. <laughs> like what about that guy? That that guy that's too bougie to play in the fool. Mm-hmm. I've been that guy before, so it don't really bother me. Mm-hmm. That don't bother you either, Joe? It only bothers me when I'm the one that's trying to run. <laughs> but so I've been the other guy too. Like, what if, what if trash. you trash? What if you need? What if you need ten and he the tenth and he like oh, I'm straight? Right. That's I hate that. If shit. it's nine, if it's only ten people in the gym and he's, he's the one he's one. working on his game and he doing oh, all this hey, come Chris on, Brinkley man. shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Kinda, if, if like if I just got there, I'm ready to run a full. Come on, man. I've been guy. that guy. I've been that guy though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wow. The tenth guy. If they trash, the if they, I mean, oh, well, yeah, trash. Yeah, if they trash. If, yeah. I've never been like that. If like I see some legitimate hoopers and I don't feel like hooping, I'm still gonna hoop. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm gonna at least get a nice run. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. but if it's goofballs and they saying, <laughs> "Hey, want to play a four on four? Like, nah, yeah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? To our listeners, I'm not. If you you out see me in any open gym or whatever, I'm not doing a three on three. Four on four. I'm not what about two on two? No, <laughs> I'll do a thirty two, but I'm not doing a two on two, three on three. Man, I see. I hate the four on four full court. That's the worst. That's yeah, the worst. that's bad. Four on four full court. That's <laughs> desperate. Way too much. Space. That reeks of desperation. <laughs> that's like, yo, like, I mean, I know you want to get a good lather, but just bust the thirty-two. Right. Balls. Man, yeah, man. So, unless y'all got anything else, man, I think it's been a good show. Yeah, I think we touched on everything. Balls. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think so. Once um, again. Shout out to Griselda for giving a dope concert though. I definitely I definitely, we definitely enjoyed it. We were entertaining, we enjoyed it. I didn't like the 10 acts prior. <laughs> but you guys, the Griselda fam, they did dope. Like I enjoyed it. Benny, get your shit together. Damn. <laughs> um But yeah, man. Um once again, hit us up at uh SLHH Pod on IG. Uh any any comments, any disses, any uh, props you want to give us, any topics you want us to touch on, feel free to hit, leave them in the, in, the, in the comments on YouTube. Um, like I say, y'all ain't got anything else? Wash your hands. 30 oh, yeah. seconds. Wash your hands. With that. soap. If you come to me, don't take any offense. I'm not shaking your head. <coughs> Fist bumps. <laughs> what you call it? Uh, once again, sports life and hip hop. You know the drill. Zeke, Ricky Shway, I'm Channel 7. Peace.